Okay, let's try to do a hole cycle. Let's try to drill all these holes in this block all at the same time. So we're in design mode. We're going to auto stay. We're going to auto stock our material. CPL is correct. Let's go right to the feature finder. When you're in the feature finder, go to the mill tab and make sure that the maximum diameter for a hole is 0.5 because the biggest tool we have in our library is a half inch end mill. And also make sure that the group similar holes is checked. What this will do is it will allow us to select one of those holes and since they're all the same it will see all of them and drill them all at once in one single operation. So let's say OK and go into manufacture mode. Make sure you have the right post processor and the right CPL. And if you notice, if you go over to your features tab, if I hover over it, it'll select every single one of them. That's exactly what we want. So we're going to do a whole cycle. Let's right click on it. And we're not going to use a drill bit. We're going to use an end mill. And we're going to do a whole operation for milling, which says drill a hole with an end mill. So we'll click on that. It asks us a bunch of information. It asks us if we want a center spot, prep, rough, and finish. You can do all of these if you want, but this is a piece of ran, a piece of butterboard, a piece of styrofoam. Let's not worry about center drilling. Let's not worry about prepping. Let's not worry about finishing. Let's just do roughing. We'll do a roughing operation. We'll do a basic drill operation. We just come down here, find the tool that we want to use. It's going to ask us, do you want to add a new tool? Say no. What it does is Edgecam looks to see if you have any drills. And we don't. We don't have any drills in our library, but we want to use an end mill. So we don't want to add in a new tool. So we're going to say no. It'll open up and nothing will show. So what, because it's looking for a drill. So what we have to do is turn our filters off and choose end mill. Since that's a quarter inch hole, it says we can do it with a quarter inch end mill. So let's pick that. We'll select that. Leave everything else alone. And say OK. And notice the tool path that comes in, drills one, then the other, the other, and it just works its way around until all the holes are drilled. Let's verify it and see what it looks like. There we go. We've drilled all the holes. Another one that EdgeCam can do, and it works on an IntelliTech machine, if we go to that sequence, go to the mill hole operation, we can go to that roughing and we can do a peck drill. Do not do a chip break if you're using an Intelli if you're using the IntelliTech post. Chip break does not work with the IntelliTech post. But if we peck drill, what we can do is we can tell the tool to go in a little bit, come out, go in a little bit more, come out, go in a little bit more. Um, it basically pecks like a bird at the hole until it's done.